Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, twice before in this series, I have told the story of how individual spies entered a country. There are many methods used by enemy aliens to gain admittance to a nation for spying activities. It is the story of how one particular nation brings in many spies at one time that I'm going to ask John Holbrook to introduce now. Thank you, K-7. Recently, K-7's friend and co-worker, Special Agent B-9, and his assistant, Rita Drake, undertook the problem of trying to discover how the spies of a certain nation enter the country. Their investigations led them to the seacoast, where they spent many days. However, their efforts were fruitless until, quite by accident, Rita saw a young girl crying on the docks and went to her. Our story opens as Rita and B-9 talk together on the waterfront. Rita, somewhere along this waterfront, there's a mystery that we haven't solved. B-9, are you sure that spies are entering this country through this port? I'm positive of it. What are you looking at, Rita? That girl ahead of us. I saw her yesterday in that same spot. Don't you remember? I pointed her out to you. She was crying. This is the same girl, all right. She's crying now, too, B-9. That girl's in trouble. But she might be thinking of... Well, you know what I mean. She sits there looking at the water, but hasn't quite nerve enough. I'm going to her, B-9. Perhaps you're right, Rita. Come along. No, I don't want you with me. She'll talk to another woman, but not to a man. Go back to your hotel. I'll pick you up in an hour or so, and we'll go to dinner. Hello. May I sit here with you? If you want to. I saw you here yesterday and again today. Oh, come on. Please talk to me. You're in trouble. I know you are. It's nothing. Nothing that you can help me with. Perhaps I can. Why don't you let me try? Is it about someone you care a lot about? Yes. He'll come back. No, I'm sure he won't. It's been three months. That's his ship out there. It's been in four times since he left and he didn't come back with it. Tell me the whole story. Yes, I want to tell you. I've got to tell someone. His name was Leon, Leon Sewells, and mine is Leona. Leon and Leona. We laughed about it when we first met. And then we fell in love, and I married him. And he sailed away? On that ship out there, the storm cloud. It's a fishing boat, and he was going to be gone only two weeks. But when it came back, Leon wasn't aboard. Do you mean he got off the boat at some other port? I don't know. It's all so funny. The storm cloud was gone ten days, and when it came back, the entire crew, even the captain, was different. I've talked to all of them, and they won't tell me anything, even if they knew Leon. Did you say the entire crew changed while the ship was at sea? Yes, and I knew all the men who were aboard with Leon. I met them with him. I see. Leona, perhaps I can help you. I'll find out what port the storm cloud put into while she was at sea. Meet me here tomorrow afternoon. A few minutes later, Rita met B-9 and went to dinner with him. While they were eating, she told him the entire story. The girl is desperate, B-9. Her husband disappeared off the boat. The entire crew disappeared. The boat went out to sea for ten days. When it returned, it arrived with a different crew, even to the captain. B-9 
first checked with the harbor master. The storm clouds are converted destroyer, now engaged in fishing. It leaves this port every ten days or two weeks, but does not touch any other port while away. Do you have a record of her captains? Yes, she's now under the command of Captain Zadarsky. He's a citizen of... This is funny. The storm cloud sailed under the command of one man and came back under the command of another. Yet according to her paper, she didn't touch any port. B-9's hunch proved right. The storm cloud had six captains over a period of 18 months. All had apparently come aboard at sea, for there was no record of the fishing boat ever having put in at any other port. B-9 next questioned the wholesale fish dealers. I wonder if you have a record of the fish you have purchased from the operators of the storm cloud. <laughs> the storm cloud, they're not fishermen. She goes out to sea, but she never brings any fish back. We've laughed about it many times. <laughs> B-9's next request was sent directly to Naval Intelligence. It went out that night by radio. The storm cloud is registered under the flag of the nation we suspect. It's supposed to be a fishing boat, and it never brings fish into port. I want to find out where it goes at sea, how the crew has changed. I have found the ship also has powerful wireless sending equipment. Will you grant me permission for me to go aboard and make a search tomorrow afternoon? Permission will be granted. The next afternoon, B-9 boarded the storm cloud and showed his papers to the captain. You've seen my credentials, Captain. I have full permission from the government to search this ship. Would you show me around? Why should my ship interest you? A man disappeared from aboard this ship at sea. He left a bride ashore. That's reason enough. Now let's look the storm cloud over. Lead the way. Wait, are those gun emplacements on the deck? This ship is a converted destroyer. We have never removed them. That's interesting. Uh, first, I will show you the crew's quarters far. Uh, just a minute, Zadarsky. We'll get to the crew's quarters in time. What about that door we just passed? This one amidships. That is our refrigerating plant to keep our fish fresh. You would not be interested. On the contrary, I'm very much interested to know why a boat that never catches any fish needs a refrigerating plant. Open it up. But... Open it up. Step in. And don't try to move. I have a gun in your back. What do you think you're doing, Zadarsky? Get inside. You wanted to know what was in there? Take a good look. Bomb racks. You will never have a chance to report them. I am taking you to sea with us. Ashore, Rita talked with the girl, Leona, as she waited for B-9 to return. As they talked, Rita saw a boat leave the side of the ship and come toward them. A boat has just left the ship. If it's the man who came here with me, he may have some information about your husband. But the crew aboard now say they never heard of Leon. I've talked to all of them. What's the matter? This boat coming, there's only one man in it. It's not B-9. No. Oh, but I know this man. He's first girl, a sailor. I've talked with him. He's almost here. I'll ask him about Leon again. First girl, have you heard anything? I have not time to talk now. Well, I only wanted to ask I'm you. I'm in a hurry. If you see any of the men in the storm cloud, tell them to go aboard. Tell them we are sailing at once. What does he mean? They can't sail with your friend aboard. Perhaps they think they can. Leona, I want you to help me. I'm going to the Coast Guard Authority. I want you to stay here and keep watch for my friend. I'll be back in a few minutes. A little over an hour later, the storm cloud sailed. As it left the harbor, a swift gray destroyer followed. Rita stood at the destroyer's rail and talked with the captain. We're almost up with them. Yes. That fishing boat is fast. If they had more of a start on us, we never would have caught her. How will you make them stop? Yeah, I'm going to stop them now. Stand by to open fire. Aye, aye, sir. Forward gun loaded. Fire a shot across the bow. 
They haven't slowed up. No. Hand me that megaphone. Ahoy, storm clouds. Stand by to be boarded. They're slowing. Yes, I thought they would. Yeah, we'll come alongside. Come up alongside. Where is it? I don't see B-9. Would we be in trouble if he shouldn't be aboard? I'll talk to you about that after we search him. Uh, there's the captain. I'm coming aboard you, Captain. What do you want? I'm going aboard with you, Captain. Make fast. Pour and out. Yes, sir. Why have you stopped us? We have reason to believe that you're taking a man to sea. That is impossible. What's that? Someone's knocking on that door. B-9! Peter, I'm in here. Here, yeah, open that door. I have not the key. Yeah, then I'll open it. Look out inside. Get away from the door. I'm going to shoot the lock off. Uh, it's opening. Rita, I'm glad you got here. Oh, I was sure you were aboard, B-9. I went to the Coast Guard. I'm glad you did, Rita. Captain, seize the storm cloud and tore ashore. These men are not fishermen. They're spies engaged in photographing our coast defenses. This ship is fully armed. That room in which I was held prisoner contains racks of depth bombs. I'll well, see they're not disturbed, B-9. Good. These men are all to be made prisoners. And Rita, I have some good news for the girl Leona. Her husband is also a prisoner in there. We'll take him back to her. Further investigation proved the storm cloud to be a fighting ship disguised as a fishing boat. It also brought spies into the country through the simple trick of sailing into port with a full crew and leaving with only enough men to run the boat. Thus they left 10 or 12 so-called sailors on every trip. As a result of the seizure of the storm cloud, a close check is being kept on other fishing boats. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.